Hey everyone, imagine a situation where you have a table. And in this case, I'm just showing the headings of a table. In this table headings, we have a couple of columns. We don't want to confirm all the columns. We just want to confirm that there are three of them named users, items, and projects. And that they go in this order. Users must be before items columns and items must be before the projects column. We don't want to confirm the exact order. We don't want to confirm all the orders. So how do we do that? So I'll put the list of column titles that I want to confirm right here in an array. So let's simplify the problem. Instead of trying to look at the columns and trying to see the DOM elements before our DOM elements, why don't we extract the titles of each column first? Then we can filter that list because we're only interested in these three values. We're not interested in everything in the table. And then we'll confirm that the extracted list of just three uh, or less number of columns is the same as we expect to be. Okay, let's get us our table, table head, and all the th elements. Okay, so we found them all. You can add an assertion to confirm that, you know, there's a certain number, but in this case, we can move on. Now, from each element, I want to extract the text. So I'll use say then and get text, which is a utility function that just maps over all jQuery objects and extracts its inner text property. It comes from a separate recipe that you can find on my Cypress example site. Okay, we got the text of each column heading, and now we want to filter that list because we are not interested in all the columns. Instead, we want to filter that list. So each string should only be left in the array we're interested in if the target list includes it. Okay, let's log it into a Cypress command log using scilog. Okay, so we get users, items, project. We eliminated all other values. And we can say should deep equal because every time we compare arrays or objects, we need to use the deep quality so it looks at the values inside. Okay, so the list of columns that we're interested in comes in the right order. If, for example, the item and the users were switched, well, that list would not be in the same order. If the item was column was missing, again, that's not what the test would expect and it fails. But if the columns are there and both three columns come in that particular order, then the test passes. Find this and many, many more examples at my site, Cypress Examples, that I will link in the description of this video.